We know this to be true. We should moderate ourselves, but we are furiously carried. We cannot make use of such precepts. We are overcome, sick, male sani, distempered and habituated to these courses. We can make no resistance. You may as well bid him that is diseased not to feel pain, as a melancholy man not to fear, not to be sad. Tis within his blood, his brains, his whole temperature, it cannot be removed. But he may choose whether he will give way too far unto it. He may in some sort correct himself. A philosopher was bitten with a mad dog, and as the nature of that disease is to abhor all waters and liquid things, and to think still they see the picture of a dog before them, he went for all this, reluctante say, forcing himself, to the bath, and seeing there, as he thought, in the water the picture of a dog, with reason overcame this conceit, quid carni cum balneo, what should a dog do in a bath? A mere conceit. Now thinkest thou hearest and seest devils, black men, etc., tis not so, tis thy corrupt fantasy. Settle thine imagination, thou art well. Thou thinkest thou hast a great nose, thou art sick, every man observes thee, laughs thee to scorn. Persuade thyself tis no such matter. This is fear only, and vain suspicion. Thou art discontent, thou art sad and heavy, but why? Upon what ground? Consider of it. Thou art jealous, timorous, suspicious. For what cause? Examine it thoroughly, thou shalt find none at all. Or such as is to be contemned, such as thou wilt surely deride, and contemn in thyself, when it is past. Rule thyself then with reason. Satisfy thyself, accustom thyself, wean thyself from such fond conceits, vain fears, strong imaginations, restless thoughts. Thou mayest do it. Est in nobis asvascari, as Plutarch saith. We may frame ourselves as we will.